This video is about the importance of observational drawing in the work of Watteau, Fragonard and Boucher and that they are not just decorative painters or painters who painted an abstract idea of reality. They wanted to create their own experiences of reality on the canvas. And one of the most important aspects of this was observational drawing. And so they would draw studies and then they would paint them in the studio as paintings. So they would convert their drawings into paintings. And this has a long tradition in French art. It is something which Degas also did. But what I want to emphasize is the importance of observational drawings in the work of Watto. And this is probably one of the most important aspects in European art. What makes European art different is that emphasis on observation. And this is what modern painting lacks because modern painting just mainly paints from photos. And when you paint from a photograph, it is a flat image. It is not your own experience of reality. And you don't use drawing as a translation tool. And drawing itself has form, space, depth, rhythm. It is also connected to the other senses. So when you observe reality, when you're drawing from life, I mean, just look at the beauty of this. And all your other senses come into play. So your sense of touch also comes into play because we are human beings, we're not cameras. We don't see like cameras. And the abstract beauty in this drawing comes through that process of observation and translation. Okay. So it is an expressive drawing and it is not about filling the page. It is about expressing the page. So the page becomes part of the reality of the experience of the drawing and of the model. And you can see how the volumes in this drawing work so well. And it's got all those rhythms, all those abstract things, but they are not things in themselves. They are part of the drawing process and the experience of the artist looking at the model. So you can see that Watto was a master of observation. And then he would do looser drawings to establish the design of his paintings. But he was one of, he was an artist who was always drawing from nature and then composing those ideas to make larger paintings. And you can see more of his drawings here. So observational drawing has always been an important part of French art. And then you take these drawings and then you compose them in a larger painting. And this is Boucher and he did the same thing. So he would take a drawing study like Watto and then he would use it in his paintings. So it shows you again the importance of observation. They are just they are not just decorative expressions, abstract expressions. Yes, they become that, but they become that through the process of drawing and the experience of looking and then arranging it into a painting. And here we have Fragonard. Again, the importance of observation and this drawing it's got beautiful and a beautiful abstract sense but it's all about observation it's there on the, they're not marks for themselves and so Fragner are constantly drew from nature and this is the difference between this fine art and what we have today which is illustration so artists are no longer drawing from nature and when you stop doing that you, you lack drawing in your paintings. So 
because the experience you get drawing and drawing from life cannot be, be replicated in the photo and it creates an abstract beauty within the picture and within the painting the abstract the abstract aspect is something which comes from that process okay, it comes from the process of looking observing and expressing yourself so what i want to show is the importance of observation in painting fine art painting and here we're going to have a look at the lucy painters is that he draws from life and paints from life. And you can immediately see that in the way this is drawn and how it is expressive and how it has form, depth and space. And so that is the main difference between illustration which 95% of painters today do, which is just painting from flat photographs, they have no experience of their own reality and no translation and no observation. You only get that through the experience of actually doing it yourself. There is no shortcuts in painting. So you can have a painting which looks absolutely photographically perfect, but it's not art. It's not fine art. It's just illustration. Fine art deals with drawing, space, form, experience the human experience. You just can't turn up to a picture and do it as an exercise. It is an emotional, expressive experience which comes from observation. And then that in itself then goes to create the painting. And the painting always has, if you observe from nature, nature itself has this abstract beauty which then translates into the painting. So abstraction and observation, they're one and the same things because if you look at nature hard enough, it becomes abstract. And you start to see those things which relate to each other, which, which is what you don't do when you're painting from a photo.